We are going to continue with operations with vectors. We are now going to focus on subtraction of vectors. You will find this on page 584 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook y equals mx plus c to success. We can subtract one vector from another by First, we reverse the direction of the vector we want to subtract. So can you remember, if you reverse the direction, then we put a negative in front. And then we do normal addition of vectors. Note, the difference of two vectors, a and b, denoted by a minus b, is the sum of a and negative b. So for example, if I give you something like this, it's actually meaning a at negative b. Not b, but negative. So the negative is actually just moving in front of the b. So if I show you on a sketch, let's just look. If this is a and this is b. So if, if this is subtraction, I must take this direction and I must change the direction. Then it becomes negative b. And then I do as I did in addition of vectors. I'm just saying a and the negative b and then the result will be a minus b. And that I showed you there also. So to subtract two vectors, subtract the corresponding elements. This is in algebra, just like we did directed numbers. So it's 4, a negative, multiply a negative, so this will become a positive. So it's 4 plus 2, which is 6, and 2 minus 3, because there's a positive, that will be negative 1. Okay, and if I check to see if it's correct, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and there is the negative 1. Let's look at an example. The diagram shows two given vectors, P and Q. Find P minus Q. So there's P, there's Q. Now remember that negative is going to move in front of that Q. So it's actually going to be P plus negative Q. So Take the P, but now it's not going to be positive, as I did here, positive Q. It's going to be negative Q. And now, again, just like I did addition, from the beginning or the start to the end, that's going to be P minus Q. So that's the way I do subtraction of vectors. If you go in the direction of the arrow, the vector is positive. If you go against the arrow, the vector is negative. And then I showed you there. Okay, so let's go on. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 21, just number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number one. So again I give you the vectors, but instead of addition now, it's just subtraction. So I think the first thing will just be good again to write down the vectors. Okay, so what will we make it green again? So what is S vector in a column form? So let's just see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. So it's 5 and negative 3. That's S. Okay? Let's look at the ne next one. What is the value of T? Okay, so T is going to be, okay, let's just see, 1, 2. And it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Positive 5. And then the last one, it's just like the previous one, U, it's going to be, it's just negative 2, just horizontal, no vertical. Okay, there is my vectors. Now I'm going to start. So the first one, if I see number A, I'm saying S minus T. Now I'm just going to put my grid to help me. Okay. So if I'm going to start with this one, now in this case I'm going to say, let's start with green, so so it's S, so let's see it's 5 and negative 3, so let's start here, okay, you can do it here also, 5 and negative, and I just want, okay, let's start, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, okay, take my ruler, so that is S. Can you see? It's looking the same. 
No, instead this is going to be negative t. So if this is t, negative t, and maybe I can just indicate it here to you, negative t is going to be negative 2, negative 5. That's going to be. So if I'm going at t, I'm going to go negative 2 and negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is going to be. So if this is going to be t, uh, sorry, let's just write it. This is s. And this is going to be negative t. But the final result is still going to be from the start to the end. So this final result is still going to be s minus t. So basically, if I'm going to write it out, I'm just going to say, okay, then I'm going to say s. So it's going to be 5. A negative 3 minus t. Okay, where's t? That was 2 and 5. Let's leave it like this. And then if I'm going to say this is going to be 5 minus 2, which is going to be 3, and negative 3 and negative 5 is going to be negative 8. Okay, that's algebra. Let's just write here. That's with algebra. That's like, right, it's as a different. But now let's see if this is correct according to the graph. So the graph was going 1, 2, 3. Wait, do you see there? Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the graph was also saying 3 and negative 8. Can you see exactly the same as this? Okay, I'm going to clean to do number B. Okay, let's just leave that negative. Okay, let's look at number B. So what is number B saying? It's saying T minus U. Okay, now in this case, let's just say, see again, what's going to be negative U? It's going to be a negative times a negative is positive 2, and this is just going to stay 0. Okay, can you see if you change that? It's just going to be positive 2. So in this case, let's just make the sketch again. T, let's start with T. What was take T? So 2 and 5. So we have to go, let's just go down. Start here. So it's 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, I think I'm going to go a little bit down there. So 2... 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this is going to be T, and then U is now just going to be, okay, don't forget, this is T, and this U is going to be now negative U, which is just 2. It's just that 2. So this is going to be, don't forget, negative u. But the final result is from the beginning till the end. No, I just want to take a ruler. From the beginning till the end. That is going to be. So this is going to be the result of t minus u, which is going to be, what is t? That's going to be 2 and 5. And then minus u, that, okay, let's just write u first down, negative 2 and 0. And that final 2 minus, okay, remember it's actually 2 plus 2, which is going to be 4. 5, and this is going to be, oh, 5 minus 0 is just going to be 5. So this is going to be, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do you see there? If you look at this one, um, I just want to use another color for this one. If you look at the graph, so this was with algebra. And by the graph, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's also 4 and 5. So with the graph, it's 4 and 5. And with algebra, it's also 4 and 5. And then the final, final one, which will be C. Let's just make space again. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to do that final one, C. And that's S minus U. Okay, let's see we have minus U, there is S. I think we can start with it. So let's just do S again. Now remember S was um, 5. Let's take blue. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and negative 3. 1, 2, 3. So it's 5 and negative 3. Okay. So this, this is going to be S. 5 and negative 3. And then it's going to be, okay, let's just see, U. So negative U. It's just going to be 2 and 0. So basically, oh, where is that? And then it's from the beginning till the end. So this is going to be, don't forget, this is minus u. Now let's just get the pin. And this is actually going to be s minus u. That's going to be. And if you look at it first on the graph, let's just do the graph again first. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and negative 3. So this is going to be 7 and negative 3. And now we're going to try it with algebra. So if we say s minus u, okay, what was s? It was 5 and negative 3. And what was u? Negative 2 and 0. So it's 5 plus 2 is 7, and negative 3, negative 3. And if you compare it, can you see? It's exactly the same. And that was the final answer.